elbow from McClellan. He had something on it. There's another one. And Brooks, you saw it, Chris. Two shots to the body, real good shots. And Brooks knelt down. Looked like he wanted to go down. And this one isn't going to go much further. No. It's not gonna, they're not going to get the rounds. He no. doesn't want any more. Did you see that? He he's, he's done. Any more. He's, he's trying to single Bobby Washington. Come here. Yeah. Get me out of this, will you? Sammy Brooks wants no part of this. The count is at the three minutes. It'll be a surprise. You know, McClellan just waiting and right now. Hand. You know, he's he's just fighting the way you're taught to fight to win. You know, they want rounds, they want this, they want that. But you can't tell a guy not to go and finish it early. And look at the left of the body. Though. The right, the right elbow of Brooks is right down. He does not want that left of the body at all. Goes down again, right in the corner. That's and all. that's it. Bobby Watson will stop the fight. It's over. Gerald McClellan inside one round just around the two minute mark gets the victory in into the first encounter McClellan's come out with a real good jab oh a big right hand right off the bat Jackson's in dire trouble McClellan looking to finish him up seconds into the fight pummeling Jackson I'll tell you what they're going to stop this if he doesn't offer up a punch this fight's going to be over he should go down and take an eight count And he'll pay for that in future bouts, too. Without question. I mean, uh, he certainly has to uh, keep his hands and his elbows inside the bag. The Good big left hook. hook and bounce off the mat goes John Gordon. His hands held, held a little bit higher. Another big right rocks John McGordon. And Al McClellan going to town trying to just get him out of there. And referee Grable is very, very close to stopping this fight. Gordon, another right, and that'll do it. It looks like uh, that's it. Dale, Dale, it. Dale Grable will stop the bout about a minute and a half into round number two. Gerald McClellan continues his KO say The crowd loves this kid. Big knockout. 145 of round number two. A big well, right. Put it up. Sullivan missing with the right. And again, snapping the head back of Sullivan. McClellan does with the jabs. Boy, the more we talk to him. Oh, the right hand. Staggers it. Fight's over. That's it. 40 seconds into the fight, Gerald McClellan with the first hard punch he landed virtually ended it at that point. Beautiful. Just on the distance. And he's had 41 of them. He's won 38. And he's hurt a right hand from the young man McClellan. And McGarvey's over in the opening 30 seconds. Not a hair on his head. This time the left hand catches Mugabe, and Mugabe's defenses are anywhere but at the Albert Hall tonight, and he's gone again, and Mugabe won't survive this, it's the first round, and he doesn't know where he is, and Mugabe is ready to be taken, I'm afraid, the former world light middleweight champion, now all too vulnerable to heavy punching. This is round one, scheduled for 12 for the WBC middleweight championship. Jay Bell in the white trunks. He's the challenger, and in the trunk gold is the champion, Jill McClellan. Bell, a former defensive captain for the Howard High football team in Chattanooga. 150-pound linebacker off the field and honor students. And look at this! A big left hook to the body, right in the solar plexus, it appeared to be. Rather surprisingly. Interesting. Should that have been a point deduction? Big right hand from Jackson there, landed. On McClellan, on McClellan's good shot. Oh, he's got him with a left hook. Jackson, spread eagle half out of the ring. And Julian Jackson, the big concussive hitter, is in trouble himself now. This could be the end of his reign. Right hand, he can't take more of that. He's down again. This is the second knockdown of the round. There is no three knockdown rule in operation here. He's all over the place. He cannot be allowed to continue, surely. And he is not. 
the title changes hands. Gerard McClellan is the new WBC middleweight champion. And in a battle of two absolutely volcanic punches, it was McClellan's power that told in the end. And immediately after, he'd taken the break for a low blow. That's right. Finally, the big punch came. We knew it was going to happen sometime in this fight, and it was McClellan that got it on first, and Jackson was in terrible trouble.